What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's so hot. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm here going to be working on my signatures for my junk journal collection. I already have all the covers done. That's all done in part one of this whole series. I have a playlist in my channel where you can check them all out. I'll make sure to link that to the end of this video. So today, um, what I'm going to be doing is basically cutting these pages down to size that they're supposed to be, um, as well as folding them as many as I can do in an hour. And then I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come back tonight again and go live for another hour and I'll keep on working on these. Um, what I have done so far today is I have gone ahead and picked out the kits that I have that I will be using in these journals. Um, this one right here is Birds, Bees, and Peonies. It's a really pretty pink, beige, red, and uh, like a royal blue. Really pretty pages in this kit here. Um, of course, my whole shop is still 50% off your $50 order. Um, for instant downloads as well as my junk journal supplies. Hi, Beverly. Uh, this one right here is, uh, this one is uh, Charming charming Fragments. Oh my God. Charming Fragments 2. Not one, Charming Fragments number 2. So that is these pages right here. I have all uh, nine pages from this journal. Uh, this one right here is the first Charming Fragments. Uh, I designed these quite a number of years ago. Still classic, still classic. I still like to use them. So there's nine pages from that journal. Then this is the uh, Life of Bloom number two. So are you opening design team slots soon? I'm going to be, uh, yes, I'm going to be working on my design team very, very soon. Uh, hi, Michelle. How are you, girl? This one is Life of Bloom two. This one was fun to make, actually. Lots and lots of fun. Oh, and I also, I printed these out on um, some on scrapbook paper, some are on regular printer paper. Like I alternated so that way I would get like a little bit of a choice. Some are on scrapbook paper again, on the back of scrapbook paper. And some are just printer paper. So that's for all of them. I cut down my regular scrapbook paper, the, the ones that I've had for a number of years. I cut them down to eight and a half by 11. And now I print on, on the back of them. So <laughs> it kind of helps use them up. Um, I'm going to be using, I'm going to talk about the full kits first. I'm also going to be using the kits from uh, Kit and Memoirs, which I designed a, num a couple years ago. Let's see, my printer is messing up. I'm going to have to check up on that. I'll have to reprint these. Let me cancel my prints because this thing is messing up my prints. You can see these lines right here and I can see them. They're terrible. So I need to reprint these pages and it just started clogging up some. So this is Kitten Memoir. So this is going to be all about cats. Um, let's see. Is that the last full kit? Yeah, that's the last. Well, the last book kit is the one that I'm printing out right now, but I know it's not printing out right. So let me show you the rest of them. Give me one moment. Actually, it seems like it was fine, and I just canceled that for no reason, so hang on. <laughs> okay, I could be wrong. 
it's printing out fine. It was just those couple of pages from that kit. Um, I'm also printing out the uh, French classifieds journal kit. I need to print out one more page and then this one's done. And of course, these need to be cut out. These are for the smaller journals. So I printed them out. They're going to be smaller than the other pages. That's just how it is. Okay, so I'm going to paper clip these together so I know that these go together. Okay, cool. I need to print out this page right here. File print. One second, you guys. Property. Seven. Current page. Property. Print. I'm going to do a video on how I print out these pages at different um, sizes. Okay, so it's printing out. Okay, so these are from my uh, Just Junk Journal pages. So these are using different kits from my shop. Again, these are just the Junk Journal pages. They're in the Junk Journal pages section. And I just kind of mixed a couple sets together. I thought that this mix with these flowers, these flowers here, and then these like a uh, neutral ephemera collage type of papers would be a good mix. So that's for one of them. Of course, I have 13 of these. <laughs> I finished printing them out this morning. Well, I just, I'm just barely finished printing them out right now. I already cut these out though. I cut about nine of them out and I saw four cut out. This one is gonna be Jane Austen. I have, I'm gonna have two Jane Austen journals. Uh, so these two are Jane Austen. Again, these are also from my shop. And then they're going to have some flower uh, papers in between. So just a couple flower papers, but most of it is going to be Jane Austen, Jane Austen in this kit right here. In that book, I should say. I'm going to have two prayer journals. So these are some prayer prayer journaling pages from my shop. They're going to have some really pretty crosses um, and then some really pretty pages with some uh, Bible verses on them. Uh, you are smart printing on one-sided papers. Yes, because it just gives it some interest. You know, I don't want it to be all white pages. So some of them are white pages, but some of them are just like these really like weird patterns that I've had forever. <laughs> You, of course, could use really pretty patterns, but I'm just using my old stash from when I used to make cards and when I used to scrapbook and when I used to buy everything underneath the sun. So, yeah, that is one of the journals, one of the prayer journals. This is a second prayer journal. Some really pretty uh, flowers. Some of the pages are upside down, but I'm just showing you guys the journals. They're going to have these pages also as well with the pretty crosses on them. So there's those. Here's the second Jane Austen journal. The other one is smaller. This one's going to be the regular size. So I have the line pages and then I have the uh, English rose pages that I designed a while ago. They're so pretty, guys. Honestly, if it's somebody else's like design, I like freak out like how pretty it is. But if it's my own, I'm kind of like, yeah, it's okay. You know? <laughs> I don't want to like say how pretty they are when I design them I'm weird <laughs> so those are nice and then this one is just floral papers again the black and beige ephemera collage type pages and then some really pretty florals uh these are the same as the prayer journals they're just not they just don't have prayer they just don't have bible verses on them so there's that one and then the last one is uh neutral this is my latest set that i put out like neutral ephemera with lime paper and then it's gonna have some really pretty floral papers uh with the these plain ones in between so those are that so i have to cut some of these out like i said i have four of these to trim down 
and nine of them are done, so that's good. <laughs> More than half of them are done. I have these to do, so i set these aside. Got to be somewhat organized. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here with the paper clips, being a little bit organized, more than normal. Going to be honest. <laughs> so let me just cut these out first before I start cutting out all the miscellaneous papers. Because that is going to be a mess. And this is at least the easy part of this process here. It's just cutting out the white papers. Um, I'm going to make a specific video on how to test uh, printing out these images for like smaller journals or for different size journals I should say you don't always make the same size journal and sometimes you need to figure out how you're gonna make it fit oh you did Beverly thank you thank you for your support I really appreciate it I'm gonna be coming out with new stuff so be on the lookout okay so just cutting these here or just trimming them. I could do them all at once, but I feel like I always miss. I always miss a little sliver. I always feel more comfortable doing one by one. I don't know. <laughs> this uh, paper cu cutter could cut a lot of pages at one time, but I still rather cut out one at a time. And I have my lighter duty paper cutter, but it like frays the edges. I don't know. It probably needs a new blade. So for now, I'm stuck using my heavy duty for light labor. <laughs> and this I actually need to cut down to size because I printed it out regular size. So the regular pages, the ones that are not shrunk down already, um, are going to be 8 by 10. So I got to make sure, like right here, I got to make sure they're 8 tall. Right, yeah, 8 by 10. Eight and then ten long. And then they should match the same as these. Right? Oh, these are the small ones. Okay. Let me just make sure. And I just made them too big. Okay, yeah. What is this? What size is this? Yeah, it's eight. Well, it's slightly smaller than eight because my printer didn't print exact size, so... That's why the size discrepancies, but this one is smaller because this journal is smaller. So give me one second. These I should have cut together. Put them in better. Hang on, hang on. These are, the, I forgot I'm cutting out the small ones. I already cut out the, the ones that I know the size of. <laughs> uh, I still got to measure the other journals. So let's see here. Okay. Now let's cut this way, guys. Oh my god. Okay, what are we saying? Is that a rotary cutter? This one is actually by Fiskars, it is a rotary cutter. It is called the Precision Cutter. Let me get you guys a link. I haven't linked it in a, quite a while. Uh, right, that's the wrong Amazon. This one. Let me get you guys the link. Uh, I think they also sell them like at Michael's. I bought mine off Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Precision. Uh, first. there it is, Procession. It's $72.99 online. It's honestly worth it, but of course, check it out at uh, Michael's to see if it's any cheaper there. Maybe you can use a coupon. Uh, let's see, Fiskars Procession rotary cutter supposedly you never need to sharpen the blade supposedly that's the rumor i've had it for a couple of years now i have no complaints i have no complaints whatsoever i think it's fabulous i think it's fabulous 
cut all these emeralds. I cut chipboard with it. Um, I've cut a game board with it, but that didn't go so good. So don't. Do it. <laughs> it did work, but I messed up the cutter. So don't cut a game board, but <laughs> chipboard like your cereal boxes, it'll cut through butter, even through through two layers of chipboard. Right here, I'm cutting three pages, and it's like no problem whatsoever. I do love this cutter. I do suggest it. Of course, like I said, I don't know how much it is at Michael's, um, but it's 72 something on Amazon. Who did I not say hi to? Uh, Ms. Shire said hi. I really like the assembly line method you use for making journals. I try to make two at a time. That's smart, girl. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kayleen. Who else am I missing? Donna. Hi, Donna. Okay, I think I said hi to everybody. Let me know if I didn't. But um, yeah, I do love this rotary cutter. Like I said, you really can't even replace the blade. So that the rumor, that's the whole spiel, is that they don't, uh, is that you don't ever need to replace the blade. That's what they say. That's what they say. I don't know. <laughs> They have a good warranty because I messed my first one up. Like I said, I cut a, I cut a game board. I cut up a game board and um, they replaced it for me. <laughs> they, what is this? This is supposed to go over there. Okay, gosh. Uh, they replaced it for me. That was really nice. <laughs> They have a guarantee on it. So they, they, that's what they claim so far. I've had it over a year. Um, I've not had any issues with it. Supposedly, it like self, uh, what is it? Self sharpens every time you cut it, supposedly. Yes. Yes, Fiskars is good. Like I said, I can attest to that because I broke mine and they replaced it. <laughs> and when I show them the picture of what happened, they're like, yeah, we don't know how that happened. So here's a new one. <laughs> they're just like, just keep the old one. Uh, <laughs> here's, but here's your new one. So now I have two. I was able to like sh shove. The, okay, so the rotary came on top of the this it, like the rotary is down here right and it came on top of this bat this bar it has like a lip right here and it came on top of the lip and i was able to like shove it <laughs> i was able to like shove it back in place but it makes this like raspy sound and it's like a, i don't want to hear that but it does work it just it doesn't work very well Letitia, hey girl, hey, I just got here, girl, I just got here. It feels like I've been here for a minute, but I just got here. I was just talking about all the kits that I was going to use for these journals. Uh, so, yeah. Like I said, I could cut these all at one time, but I don't know if the printer are printing everything out at the same place, and I don't want to cut anything off, so I'm just going back one by one. But you definitely could uh, cut them all at once. And I like to print on the back of scrapbook paper that I don't like anymore. Or maybe even some that I do like. I'll print on the back of it. And this is just the regular printer paper. Well, this is a little thicker than printer paper, paper. But it is not cardstock. It's just like a heavy paper but not cardstock. So uh, basically that's what I do. I cut up all my scrapbook paper to be 8.5 by 11. That way I can print on it. And uh, that way my printed items don't have, like, just a boring white, white background to, to it. So um, I did do a 50-50 mix. So some of them do have white printer paper. Uh, and then half of them have a uh, scrap of paper. So that is the idea behind that. Uh, which kit are you using? This, I'm going to use a lot of kits. Uh I already went through the list, but I'm going to use basically 
a lot of different kits. This one right here that I'm working on and uh, right now is the uh, Parisian. Uh, it's the French classifieds. This one is French classifieds. So I'm going to have one that's French themed. I have one that's going to be like your little French girls. <laughs> Uh, I'm saying hi to everybody here. I don't want to miss anybody. Okay, give me one second, you guys. Okay, we're back, and the sound is up. Oh, okay, good. Okay, this is a great idea. Sometimes I print lines on the back of my thin scrapbook paper to use for journaling, but I really like the idea of printing printables on the back, too. Yes, girl, yes. Sometimes, like, I've had this scrapbook paper forever, like, literally forever for... Five years. I've had this cover paper for five years. And back in the days when I used to make cards, I mean, I used to use it. But, of course, that phase didn't last very long. <laughs> so now I'm kind of stuck with all this, like, ugly-ish junk journals. So the way you could fix that even more if you have ugly scrapbook paper is coffee dyeing. Coffee dyeing makes everything look really pretty. So... This paper is not that ugly. Some of it is, but in a junk journal, it all kind of blends in together. So I'm not going to worry about it. I don't worry about it. It all just goes. I don't know. <laughs> I got to get rid of the scrapbook paper. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than that. So I'm just trimming these down. Oh, I have one on the printer that I forgot about. Two, two other pages from this kit are left, so we'll have to cut those up too. Again, I'm going to make a whole separate video. Probably not live because it'll have to be, um, I'll have to maneuver the camera and stuff on how I figure out what size I should reprint my journals to. Um, because some of them, like I said, most of my journals, I know I can, I make the same size because I can resize all my junk journal pages to be that size and I just know and I feel comfortable. But sometimes um, I do need to venture out of said size and I need to figure out how I can print these journal pages to go with that particular journal that I'm working on. Hey, Rhonda, what's up, lady? What's up? What's up? How is my hometown? How is my hometown of Oxnard, California? I love me some Oxnard, California. <laughs> I would love to be there right now because it's 100 degrees here right now. So I would love to be there so bad. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so there's that kit right here. Again, this is French classifieds. And my paper clip. Because who knows when we'll get to this kit here. I try and make the smaller kits at the end because it's gonna take some math to figure out what size they're gonna be. Oh, I forgot one page. Gosh darn it, Daisy. Gosh darn it. Um, been making boho beads, and it has been beautiful weather. Don't tell me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm jealous. 
Oh, yeah, it's going to be 100. Yeah, it's going to be 110 this week, girl. 110. I don't know who said that was okay. They didn't pass it by my office, and it happened. I don't know. Okay, okay, sorry about that, you guys. My allergies are crazy. As soon as I go on camera, water works. If I'm not on camera, no sneezes. I don't know what it is. It's just my look. Okay. So, that's done. The next kit I'm going to work on is Kitten Memories. And this one is all about cats because I love cats, and let's see, this page is good, these two pages need to be reprinted though, because they're like, you see that big old line right there, you, you can totally see those lines, so I'm going to put these aside, and those will be reprinted, um, but this one is a really special kit to me, um, I had uh, just lost my uh, cat, Ghost. Uh, I think she had cancer. Yeah, she had cancer. And I had just lost her. And so I designed this kit in her memory. And that's why I called it Kitten Memoirs. And on the very last page, or on the first page, I can't remember. Um, you could see, like, a, I put a little, like, tag that says, In Memory of Ghost. Um, yeah, that was her. That's why, and like I had her on my mind, so that's when I designed this kit. I was taking care of my mom. She was, uh, she had so shoulder surgery. So I was like in this living room, because this was her old place. Well, this is still her place. <laughs> she was, uh, I was sleeping on a couch over here, and she was sleeping on a couch over there. I'd help her like adjust the pillows or whatever when she woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> So, so that was when I made this journal. So a lot of memories are associated with this kit for me. Uh, what am I saying? What am I seeing? Keeps. <laughs> keep oh, that sounds good. <laughs> like maybe get my fishing pole or smoker. Girl, do it. Girl. Do it. <laughs> I dare you. I want to see the. I want to see the video proof. <laughs> I love the little kittens. Little cats. See, that paper is so weird, but you see, when you see it next to this page, it doesn't look so weird. <laughs> it's just the, I have the, I had the weirdest, like, obsession with scrap of paper. I would just buy, like, the ugliest stuff. I don't know. I was so weird. I would never buy this paper now. Well, that's not true. If it was a good deal, I would. Like I said, just coffee dye your, your ugly scrap of paper, and it'll be pretty. Hey, would make a funny video too. Yes, it would. Do it, girl. Do it. I need sound effects, though. We're going to have to add some sound effects. I thought cutting up 13 of these signatures like this might be a little boring, so that's why I did most of them <laughs> ahead of time. And this is still taking me quite a while still. Like I said, I could do them all at once. This trimmer is pretty bad, pretty good, <laughs> bad as in good um, at cutting a lot of pages at once, but I just like to try and be a little bit more precise. Sometimes my hands slip, even though I probably do this too if I did them all at once. <laughs> this makes me feel better to do them one by one. It just calms me down. 
I've had this scrap of paper forever. It's just so random. <laughs> so I literally sat there and um, with my printer, I alternated blank page scrap of paper, blank page scrap of paper. So that took quite a while to even do that, that because I did it to a lot of paper. More paper than I'm going to need, but it'll be good for the next project. But that's why I like doing things in batches. It just feels more efficient. Like last night I wanted to start printing. So I already, I don't even know when, had spent a whole day cutting down 12 by 12 pages to eight and a half by 11. Just to have on my, just to have in my filing cabinet of paper. And you know what? That paid off because last night I just grabbed it and started printing. So that was good. That was a really, really good thing that I try and do things like that. So in the future, it just makes things a lot faster. Got it. Like on the days that you don't feel like doing anything, do something mundane like that. Just cut up a bunch of paper down. And when you need it, when the spark hits you, you have all the stuff that's like pretty much already ready for you. So that's what I suggest. Kayleen, hi Kayleen, do you plan to put each printable set for journal or mix them up? Um, each one is going to be a journal, so this one has nine pages, this one has nine pages, so each one is going to go into a different book. Okay, so this one is the Jane Austen one, and then we're going to get to cutting down the regular pages. Hang on, let me get some Gatorade. <laughs> oh, Latisha, you're getting a cat. You're really one of the cool kids now. All cool kids have to have cats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dogs are cool, too. <laughs> I'm just partial to cats. Dogs have too much energy for me. I'm way too chill. Uh, for dogs, I'm way too chill. They're just too much for me. So that's why I don't have a dog. <laughs> I just don't have the energy to keep up with them. So I'm a, I'm a dog person. <laughs> so each of your signatures will have three of them. Yes, each signature is going to have three pages of these yes i've already like i've literally wrote it down like okay so there were three signatures and seven pages that was last night it was all the book paper like paper then i said okay that's 10 then i'm gonna add three ephemera i said three printed so that's gonna be 10 pages per signature i'm gonna still print out the three ephemera so that's gonna be 13 pages per signature. I don't know why I needed to write that down, but I did. It just made me feel better, and now I feel, I feel great, so that's good. <laughs> it's totally unnecessary math, but it just makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> okay. This helps me plan, because now I know I got to print out um, three, of, three pieces of ephemera per signature, so I need to print out nine pieces of ephemera per book, so that's what my next goal is going to be. Is um, and by ephemera, I mean the pages that fold in half, not like uh, journaling cards and stuff. For me, it's still ephemera because it's literally two pieces of ephemera that I cut out to fold in half for a page, and you'll see what I mean later um, when, that, when I get to that part. Um, and then since I know the, the kits now, I can go back and print out this journal kits actual ephemera journaling cards and tags that go with this so that'll keep me on track one day i'll spend with my scan and cut cutting them all out i have it all planned out already hello everybody i've been watching <laughs> your past videos i'm on number 11. <laughs> oh my gosh you got a lot to catch up on i'm just kidding <laughs> You got to catch up, girl. You got to catch up. How, how do you even know what we're doing? I'm just kidding. 
my episodes are like those TV channels where like you don't have to watch the last episode or know what's going on. I'll always explain what I did last video. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have a border collie. Oh, yes, buddy's awesome. Uh, I feel better when I don't want to have left to do that. Yes, Kayleen, I need, I need notes, y'all. I need notes. One second. Oh, 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 I got to show you the progress on the next set of flowers. I got one bucket done. So these are one of the new set of flowers. I'm marking on the next set, um, the new sets of flowers. So um, this is all the work I've been doing on this set. I still would like to make another bucket of these. I would like to have two buckets of each set before I put them up for sale. That way I don't have to make them for a while. So just so you guys can see, I've been I've been working, I've been playing video games, but I've also been working. <laughs> so it's going well. I I this is like such a nice accomplishment to see that I'm actually, you know, getting 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 ish. Let me not curse, getting ish done. <laughs> Makes me happy. So yay. Just so you guys see the progress. It's coming along. It's coming along. Yes, the bin of goodness. It's full. It's full. And I'm working on, um, I got more card socks. I can print out another set of those. I'm working on a new set. I got a lot going on here. I got a lot going on here. Who did I miss? I said hi to Kayleen already. Happy Scrappy Hey Girl. Hey, what paperweight do you cut your flowers on? Card stock. Uh, 110 pounds. If I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Let me check that out. Yeah, I just get this cardstock from Walmart. Um, they used to have Georgia Pacific, and now they have a pen and gear. I don't know what this brand is, but now they have, which I didn't know what Georgia Pacific was either, but now they have this brand, and uh, it's 110 pounds. It's basically the same cardstock, I guess, just for whatever reason, they switched to this brand. It's a pretty sturdy cardstock. I have no complaints. No complaints for me. I love it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the flowers. Celia, hi, girl. Hi, Celia. I'm happy to see you from Brazil. Very cool. Very, very cool. This is my other Jane Austen. I think I've only made one or two Jane Austen books. Maybe just, I think I made one regular Jane Austen and then one Christmas Jane Austen book, I think is my score so far. <laughs> so I'm about to make some more Jane Austen's books. I have a lot of them already. Um, design so I can sneak it in. I can sneak this theme in. I'm trying to pick a couple themes. Let's see, trying to get some uh, hopefully there's something you like. <laughs> so I'm trying to hit all the demographics except I don't have any cats. I need dogs so sorry about you dog lovers. <laughs> uh, bye Rhonda. You forgot you were hungry girl. You forgot you were hungry. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I always try and eat before I go live. Otherwise, I'm like itching to get offline. <laughs> uh, how about creating a boho gypsy digi? Uh, I don't know how I feel about the whole... I, I try to be extra sensitive, to be honest with you. And I don't just design just so that I can, you know, make money. Not that that's not the point of it, but I try to be sensitive to certain issues and the whole issue with the word gypsy, um, I don't want to touch, to be honest with you. 
I don't want to touch it. I don't feel comfortable doing something that makes other people uncomfortable just for a dollar. I'm not of that culture, so I can't say that that is not offensive. So I'd rather just not touch it. So that's my disclaimer on that. That's just how I feel personally. Just it's a very personal issue to me as a person of color. Um, that if somebody says, hey, that's offensive, that you pay attention. That's just me. That's just me. That's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being over dramatic. Call it boho. I don't, I have to look up into that. It's not my style. So I don't know anything about it. I'd have to look up and see because I don't know. The whole thing makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The whole thing makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, that is a special, special design right there. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> That's going in there. I don't care. <laughs> that is such a special type of thing there. I can respect that. Didn't realize it was stuff on set. I totally love Bohemian people. Uh, steering clear, political view, and religious views. Yeah, I... I just, yeah, just that whole thing. I don't know anything about Bohemia or the people, to be honest with you. And I don't, I, I know about gypsies, and some of them don't like to be called that. I, I write up on that. But anyways, whatever, I'm not trying to talk about that. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a stance, to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, it's just something that I'm just unsure of, and so I'd rather not touch it. Okay, so now we go on to the actual books. I have nine of these that I have to do. I have four of them that I'm going to wait on because I have to, like, measure and everything. These ones, I know how big they are going to be. All of my pages have to be 8 by 10 or fit within 8 by 10. So this one, I know I already designed these to be 8 by 10, so... These are done. There's no issue with these whatsoever. These are already sized. So these are already sized. Let's find this bag. I have to open here at the very end. Okay, right there. I love your prints on paper. That comment made me laugh out loud. Special. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay. So that way we have an opening here. And this, uh, I might make into a flap or something. I don't know yet. I don't, I don't. But this is going to be a, po a pocket. I'm going to glue this down here so it doesn't open up like that. It's just going to be like a pocket. So that's done. <laughs> These I have to cut open as well. So the very end, I just slice off a tiny chunk. You know what I could also do, actually... Would be more fun if I did a fancy punch there. Um, let's see. Oh, I have a couple fancy punches I could do. But you know what? It is kind of lightweight paper now that I'm thinking about it. <sighs> Let me see if this pocket will do okay with this punch because this would be actually a really cute punch to use here on the edge. Ah, yeah, okay. I wanted to test it, and it seems like it doesn't punch out evenly. Let me try it one more time. Just experimenting here. Might be because of the material. It doesn't cut all the way through. Okay, so lesson learned. <laughs> lesson learned, y'all. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay, so this paper is really long. Okay, so let's cut this down to 10. Because everything has to be 8 by 10. And now this right here will be uh, 5, because that would make it 10 if it doubled up, right? Um, no, it needs to be 8 tall, Daisy. Duh. 8 tall. <laughs> 8 tall, 5 
Yes, five. We should make it ten. Why? Okay. Okay, so here's the next one I gotta cut up. And I keep I'm basically gonna keep all these scraps to use for other products. I have them in a big old bin next to me. We'll just have to use them up. Okay, so even this out here has to be eight. So we can cut off the ugly edge, and that's good. I'm going to try and evenly cut off from both sides here, but it's usually impossible. So now that's to size. And now this right here. Oh, I love that punch design. This one is by Martha Stewart. I don't know what it's called. I've had it for a while. Um, I can tell you the patent number. <laughs> it's by Martha Stewart. It's an awesome punch, but that paper is just not sturdy enough. To, can't take it. Just can't take it. It's fine. It's fine. Let's even this out right here. See this paper. Some paper does have trouble with this cutter. I'll tell you that right now. Like really thin paper might not be the best idea to try and cut it here, but okay. See, that works a lot better. Okay. So I just got to work with it. Okay. Understood. <laughs> and I believe this should already be eight by 10 again, because I normally make my junk journals uh, eight by 10. I tend to some days, if I have nothing else to do, just kind of cut things down to 8 by 10. <laughs> 8 by 10. So that one's already cut down to 8 by 10. Uh, this one by itself is already 10 uh, by 8 and a half. So let's cut it down to 8. So let's use the straight edge over here. So this one is not straight. So, there we go. That works better than the other way. Okay. I love that punch design. Okay, I got that. <laughs> Do you put ephemera on your pages with the words? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me get one of my journals. So you can see what I mean. Yeah, so I'm understanding you correctly. So you mean like this right here? Or like, uh, let's see, what do I have? What do I have? So here on this notebook, I put these pockets. What else? Uh, right here, I put this little journal card. And on this side, I put this little picture. So yeah, yeah, I do. I had to make sure I, I was not lying. <laughs> if that's what you meant. <laughs> Bye Rhonda. And for your pockets, do you fill them with goodies? I always fill them. I fill every single pocket, every single envelope with something. Everything's stuffed. But this time, I'm going to sell a couple of journals. Somebody has one person. It's only been one person. But one person requested that I make a journal and that I just make it basically a plain journal or maybe even add pockets and envelopes and then have all the, like, ephemera and the decorations just, like, be part of the kit so that they can decorate it. So somebody said that, yes, you do, okay. <laughs> I don't want to be called a liar girl. I don't want anybody to come for me, okay? <laughs> okay, let's cut this down to 10 here. Cut this down to 10. It would have been better. I guess this was a skinny paper, but it worked. Cut this down to 8. It's already eight. I don't really care that it's jagged. That's fine. It has to be ten. 
that needs to be cut off. This page is too tall. Okay. This was a really cool book, so I'll just cut around the design of it. Um, it's already pretty good size. I'm just going to cut that down. And then I'll have to cut this down just a little bit too much. Okay. I'll have to cut this down to eight. And then I'm going to try and make this even here. Try. So you can see all the cool images still. There's another dictionary paper. Then by eight, which it already is, so that's fine. If I have jagged edge, I will live. Okay, this one is good already how it is. And these two should already be eight by ten, I believe. Ten eight, yep. Where's the fun in that naked journal? Oh gosh. I'm only going to do, like, maybe one uh, naked journal like that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I have sold just naked journals. Um, I've never sold them with the ephemera set. But, like I said, one person, <coughs> one person requested. So I'll sell one like that. And if somebody else wants another one, then I'll include an ephemera pack or something with the other blank ones. Because... I am going to have a variety blank, half uh, half uh, decorated, and then naked, and then naked with a feather. So, done. Love art journaling, but I'm a beginner yet learning so much here. Thank you, Celia. I hope I hope you enjoy yourself here. Of course, check out um, all the other junk journalers on YouTube. There's so many people that make awesome videos about junk journal, and we can all benefit to learn from a lot of people. So here we go. And junk journalers were such an awesome community. We love to share and everything. So it's it'll be really, really helpful. What's up? <laughs> Why are you so silly? Oh god keep having this reoccurring ant problem. It's not cool. It's just not cool. Let's see. I saw one where it was like a straggler, I think. You saw one ant. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, In your room? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, like, man. It might have just been a straggler from earlier, I think. Uh-huh. Drama, you guys. Drama. Hi, Justine. <laughs> Beverly said it's ant season. <laughs> I mean, I get it. They want water. It's hot. <laughs> they, they're hot too, Mike. Get them out of my house. They have the right to the pursuit of happiness too, Mike. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, man, that sounds so good. I'll have some when I'm done here. I was thinking about having mac and cheese before I went live, but I wasn't, like, sure if I was hungry or not. So then I figured I shouldn't eat because I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Huh? You should definitely eat I know, I know. Well, I was, like, semi-hungry, but I wasn't, like, starving. No, so I was like, I'll just wait until I'm really hungry. Okay. So there's one signature done. All right. I probably won't bore y'all with the part where I sit here for hours and fold them. Because <laughs> that'll take a while. So I'm just going <laughs> to make a video where I cut everything down. Okay. Well, at least I'm here for another six minutes. And then I'll cut down um, the rest tonight, I guess, when I go live again. 
I spent <laughs> I spent a minute explaining all the kits I was gonna use. Okay, so ten inches. And then five inches here. Oh wait, no, it's supposed to be eight inches tall. Jesus days. <laughs> Eight tall and then five wide, which makes it eight by ten. Oh my gosh, duh. And this does leave me a little bit of space right here, if you can see. It leaves me a little bit of space. I could have probably made them a little bit bigger, but the way I make my journals is the pages are that short. As you can see right here, they're they're that short right there. They should actually it might even be shorter. But then with the trim, it like elongates it and then it doesn't really feel like all the pages are that short. You know what I mean? So I have plans to add trim to these journals as well. So I'm not worried about that problem. All right, I did worry about it, but then I thought about it and then I was like, okay, it's fine. I just dropped a little container. So Seriously though, Tell your hubby that I just stepped away to drown an ant pile my daughter found outside by our house. Do you think you should go look outside for an ant pile? Okay, he already did. <laughs> okay, cool. Good work, honey. Good work. Is there another dictionary page here? Yeah, there is. Let's cut both dictionary pages at once. That might be better for the cutter. Let's see. So eight tall. They don't need to be cut eight tall. Okay, so ten long though. Uh -huh. I already said hi, Justine. Okay, just check it. Just checking, guys. I'm gonna cut this just a little bit just because it's kind of baggy. See, and then by 10. Ugh, can you grab me one of my hair ties in the bedroom? Be on the floor next to my bed side. Bedside, not to my bed. <laughs> Tall. Slightly like that. So we have on both sides. Ten. Alright. Slow process, but somebody's gotta do it, y'all. It's already eight tall, but it's not ten wide. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's already eight tall. Okay, cool. This is definitely like the most, probably the most boring part of the jump turn process. <laughs> Cutting the pages down the sides and folding them in half. Such a boring process, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh. One second, y'all. I can't even think. It feels like I have a helmet on my head. I'm like, shit. His hair, I want to like rip it off during summer. During summer, this hair is my enemy. We are not friends right now, me and my hair. I don't know her right now. I don't know her, I will shave her off, I don't care. <laughs> how many years have I been threatening to shave off my hair, Mike? How many years? Huh? <laughs> Every year I'm like, that's it. That's it. This is the year. <laughs> it always happens during summer too. <laughs> it's a summer urge, I guess. <laughs> Let's see here. Cut this 
part of. <laughs> or you can cut it and sell it. Oh gosh. Before I start to get my um, split ends, I should sell it. <laughs> I am cursed with like never ending or like everlasting split ends. I always have split ends. It's a curse. It's a curse. Okay, this paper is jacked up, but you know what? That's okay. It's a junk journal. And we're good on length. And we're good on length. Make sure I don't have another one of these. If I do, yep, yeah, I'm gonna double up. Seems to work good. It's not eight tall, so let's make it eight tall. This mac and cheese came out tasting more like Alfredo. Just okay. It's fine. I miss my hair. I know. Every time I cut it, I'm like, I shouldn't have cut my hair. Every time it happens. Every time. <laughs> every single time. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> I haven't cut my hair in a number of years. At least not like actual length. It's been a while since I cut off any significant amount of my hair. I had an aunt that I really admire and she had like the longest, longest, longest silver and white hair that you've ever seen. I was like, oh, goals, like total goals. I've always admired black and white hair since. Gorgeous. And she'd have it in a long ponytail or she would like braid it around her hair. Oh, so fabulous, so fabulous. I of course don't have that many hairstyles. <laughs> I have two hairstyles. It's either down or it's in a ponytail. That's those are my that's that's the variation I get. I give you. <laughs> That's uh, the variation you can expect in my show here. Okay, so 10. So this one is almost done. All right. Let's see, cut down to 8. Yes, it does. They all do. Okay, good. I'm doubling up on my skinny papers here since my cutter doesn't like to cut skinny papers well. He just wants to shred them. I don't know. It's like too good. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. There we go. Like there. And these are already 8 by 10. <clears throat> but then we've done here. This has to be 10. I think the 8 is done. Let's do that by 10. Okay, you guys. So, um, we're pretty much done here. I'm getting a little hungry, I guess. And I just smelled the mac and cheese, so I think I'm gonna go eat. And then I'm gonna have to start cutting more. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to cut, so I'll probably fold these right here <laughs> off camera. I know I'm depriving you of all the <laughs> all of the uh, action. Uh, but basically, the pocket, I just wanted to get these pockets open. But basically, what I'm going to do is um, I like to use, oh, that's what I have this here. I like to use my um, Martha Stewart board. And I'll use the corner of it here to get a better half, better fold. Better fold in the middle, I should say, than if I tried to match it up by myself without some sort of straight edge. So that's my little secret on how to fold paper in half. <laughs> <clears throat> I got the best hacks over here. So I'm just going to do that for these two. Um, I don't know exactly how many of the kits I can cut and fold at one time in an hour. 
Um, so I'll probably skip ahead on these two parts. But anyways, I'll be back tonight at uh, 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Depriving all the stuff to craft fun. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I'll be back tonight. <clears throat> I'll be cutting and folding papers. Um, yeah, tonight at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 12 a.m. Eastern, no, Central Standard Time, and 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll be going live tomorrow again in the afternoon. I go live sometime between 1 and 5 o'clock. <laughs> Used to be 1 and 3, now it's like 1 and 5. Um, but yeah, I'll be back for more fun tonight, 10 p.m. Come hang out with me in a couple hours, and uh, we'll just continue on all this crafty fun here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and thank you guys for watching all these episodes. Uh, long series. Hope you're enjoying it. Give me a little thumbs up if you guys are enjoying my video, and please keep in mind, my shop is still 50% off your $50 order, and I appreciate your support so much. So, you guys, thank you. I will see you guys tonight. Bye.